Hello and welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep dot com. My name is Jason New and this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes and it's probably other stuff I could tell you but I can't think what it is just uh, yeah on my website letmeboyyoutosleep.com I post every new episode so all of the hundred and I can't remember how many there are now but all of those I think it's 155 I think this is number 156 I think they're all on that website so if you would like to leave a comment on my website then you know, let us know how you're getting on if you like what I'm doing or you know that'd be really cool so every recording there's a, a comment section a comment box underneath where you can leave a comment that's a a way we can keep in touch keep in touch uh, also I do have a Facebook page dedicated just to this Let Me Bore You To Sleep podcast uh, that's also on the website and you can click click on there and it'll take you to the Facebook page and you can like the Facebook page if you want to and I also post all the new episodes on there now that was a good boring start to this boring recording (sighs) Andre is still awake always asleep but he's still You know, in the living room, somewhere. So, at some point, during the recording, he may pop up, start running around and stuff. And the reason he's not in his cage, and I've not put him to bed, is because I can't be bothered. (laughs) I just, it just takes too much physical activity. Although it sounds like he's dreaming. Sometimes he's asleep and he's... Do you know in a dog... You can see a dog's legs, they sort of... A dog will be lying on his side. And the legs will be going like they're running. He kind of does that a little bit. Just with his uh, his hands. Not his legs though. And he'll be like moving his hands and... Making a few weird noises. And sometimes he makes really strange noises and I I kind of sort of check on him make sure he's alright but he is it's just he's asleep he's dreaming I'd love to know what he dreams about just you know is he dreaming about going for walks and rolling around 
around in the grass and who knows it might be a nightmare and he's dreaming about having a bath because he doesn't like baths really I had to give him one the other day and he really really doesn't like them this is uh, it's the only thing that he really doesn't like apart from doing what he's told because um, he's his own man you know he does his own thing he thinks for himself does not want to be told what to do pretty much like all of us really people with animals who think that the animal should do what it's told and should behave itself like why do you behave yourself do you do what you're told if you had someone telling you what to do all the time wouldn't you want to do something a bit different if you had someone keep telling you to sit sit I think I'd refuse although I'm very lazy so I'd already be sitting down anyway you wouldn't have to tell me twice actually Andre Andre's namesake because I named Andre after my friend Andre who was uh, my best friend a long time ago and um, he we lived in a house together with another person who had a dog and this dog was the most untrainable dog ever you know basically done whatever it wanted to do its whole life and could not be would just refuse to to do anything it was told or asked And I said to Andre one day, I said, because uh, I, I moved in, because he was already living there, and I moved in. And I, when I first moved in, I said to Andre about the dog, does, does he know how to sit? Okay. What's he, no, what is it? Have you taught him to sit? Why don't you teach, because he didn't do anything, I said, why don't you teach him to sit? And Andre looked at me and said, he already knows how to sit. And he didn't mean he knew how to follow orders. He just meant that he sits down of his own accord. He knows how to sit. He knows how to eat. He knows how to fart. He knows, you know, he knows all that stuff. He just chooses to do it whenever he wants. It's hard to get a dog to fart on order as well. That's what I'd like to see on uh, Brit's Got Talent or America's Got Talent or whatever your one is. I don't want to see a dog running, jumping through hoops and dancing backwards. I want to see a dog farting. Farting a tune. Maybe Bohemian Rhapsody. don't worry I'm not going to try and do that tune because it probably wouldn't be that relaxing Bohemian Rhapsody <sighs> oh I'm tired so all of my 120 um, soundproof foam pads have arrived they arrived over the week so they didn't all arrive together so I had I think Monday I had two packs arrive out of the ten packs and I was asleep I had a knock on the door and there was a man there holding a package not his packet, you know, you know like a, a delivery package. It wasn't a stripogram or anything like that. It was just a standard delivery person. And 
I answered the door and he said these you know these are for you and I said is that all there is and he said well that's all I've got for today and he, he seemed to be a bit ap upset with me for asking maybe for questioning his integrity and professionalism I don't know and I realised it was a postman it wasn't a uh, because I ordered this stuff from Amazon so I just assumed that Amazon would deliver it you know in a all in one go in a van in a delivery driver so I thought okay so I got two out of ten packs I don't want to be woken up again so I stuck a sign on the door just leave them outside and every day this week and Tuesday and Wednesday the rest came so I think I had yeah Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday or was it Friday? no I think it was Monday Monday I had two Tuesday I had four and then Wednesday I had two something like that and uh, no two three four five six that's only eight isn't it oh maybe I haven't got ten then I think I have maybe the delivery is on Friday then Monday Tuesday Wednesday because I didn't have a delivery today or did I have a delivery today no I don't think I did unless I had two deliveries of four and one delivery of two I don't remember I think I've got all of them though I think all ten packages have been delivered but I didn't have any adhesive to put on the backs of them to put on the wall so I'm going to have to wait until next Wednesday when I get paid because I don't have any money to do anything so I'm going to have to wait and then get some adhesive which is, means I'm going to have to get about one tube per 12 so basically for each pack I need a tube so I'm going to have to get about 10 10 tubes so that's going to cost me about £30 so, yeah. but I'll be able to cover a lot of the wall so hopefully by the end of next week I won't do it all in one go I'll do a few probably do like one two two packs at a time or something and then eventually should I just want to get this room soundproofed like completely so that everything's quiet in here so I think part of the reason is because I'd like to be able to oh, here comes Andre yeah he's doing a uh, I won't tell you what he's doing but let's say he's he's got all his legs stretched out and his tail is sticking up so you can guess what he was just doing there and he just collapsed on the floor just a bit like a lion does you know after it's been um, after it's been romantic with his life partner Oh, the romance. <sighs> I 
podcast, I think it'd be quite good if I could get this room soundproofed so that I can make some recordings during the day, regardless of what's going out, out on outside. Because, especially in the summer, there's, here yeah, my, my toes are cracking. Oh, a cracking set of toes. <sighs> so, you know, in the summer, people are doing their lawn, barbecues, you know, there's a lot of generous generous neighbours like to share their music very very generous of them yeah imagine I can't imagine being in that mindset of being oblivious to everyone else to I don't know just to be so inconsiderate to just have music blaring out really loud I've never felt comfortable doing that Like cat, it's just, it doesn't seem fair on others to just you know to have really loud music. And I'd like to sometimes, you know, I'd, occasionally I like to listen to loud music, so I use headphones. I mean, I guess other people don't know about them. It's. Uh, I reckon uh, they should be advertised. I mean, headphones are great. You can listen to loud music and... Your neighbours don't... You know, they can listen to what they want to listen to. They're not, you know... I'm not infringing Barbie Girl upon my neighbours. I can listen to it from my headphones. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. What's the rest of it? Is it made of plastic? It's fantastic. I think. You can brush my hair and dress me anywhere. Yeah, that's it. Come on, Barbie. Let's get... Let's... Is it come on, Barbie? Let's get party, or let's let's have a party. I had a bath today. Had to go out. Had to had a meeting, and it was late afternoon. <sighs> I didn't go to bed till about 7 o'clock this morning well yesterday morning so I set my alarm for 2 o'clock in the afternoon and for some reason when I did go to bed I was out so quickly I fell asleep so quick and then I woke up at uh, <sighs> like 11 o'clock or something and then I went back to bed and then I woke up at 2 o'clock because the alarm went off really didn't want to get out of bed, I really, oh, you know, I think if you want to, I imagine, right, a bed of nails would feel comfortable once the alarm bell goes off, you know, once, once I know that, oh, I have to get out of bed, I have to because I've got to go somewhere. That 
you know, a bedded nails would probably feel so comfortable. It's just like, oh, anything's better than them to get up. But I did get up because I kind of had to. Well, of course, I didn't have to. None of us have to do anything. But, you know, I had, you know, I needed to because it's an important uh, appointment. And so I got up, turned the bath on, turned the tap on rather. I don't know, some kind of weird switch that just, don't have an electric bath. So, so I turned the tap on and it takes a while for the hot water to come through. And then when it does, I got to have the tap on really low, like pressure. Otherwise, just cold water comes out. But it's such a low, low pressure that it keeps turning itself off. So I kind of have to, have to play with the knob for a bit until the right amount comes out. Eventually, and uh, then I can leave it to sort of run on its own. And so I just, you know, turn the laptop on check my stats, check, you know, see what's happening, see if I've got any messages. <sighs> check Facebook, Twitter, and, you know, just doesn't really take very long, but just to check through. Um, then... I had my bath. And by the time I got out of the bath, I had about five minutes to have my breakfast. So I just, that's what I did. I spent that time eating. And then I left to get the bus. But the bus didn't turn up for about 15 minutes. So it's a... Uh, It's still a good idea to get there early though because sometimes the buses get there early and they'll just drive past. Other times they'll wait. It's no way of knowing. It's uh, it's no way of knowing what you're going to get really, is it? So I don't try and predict. I try and get there early. And uh, usually works out okay, but getting there late is not a good idea because the amount of times I've walked up there and got just about got to the bus stop and the bus goes past. And I don't like to run for the bus. It just seems like exerting all the effort to get on the bus. I mean, part of the reason I get on the bus is so that I don't have to exert any effort. You know, it's like, like walking up an elevator. Oh, why? Why do people do that? Why do they do that? The elevator is moving. It's moving with you on it. You don't need to walk up it. I think there should be some kind of a little stun, stunning thing on them. So if you go to walk it, it'll give you a little shock. Mind you, though, I have walked up escalators. I've run up them in the past, you know. Trying to catch a train. Again, why travel on a train? And be knackered when you get there. Like, it's supposed to be relaxing. The whole point of travelling on a train is for the champagne and caviar, isn't it? 
because now that's the whole objective. Admittedly, I haven't travelled on a train for quite some time. Ever since I was kicked out of the royal family. I refuse to inbreed. <laughs> so... I wonder how many different countries have royal families. And how many of those countries, how far it goes back, the bloodline. Because we've had so many different kings and queens over the years. And, you know, and we were this country invaded by everyone I think which makes you wonder why we invaded other countries when we knew what it was like you'd think they would have learned that it's not very nice to be invaded that we were invaded what Vikings the Normans the what are they called the Romans that's just three that I can think of what other ones were there not the Klu Klux Klan what's the other ones the Normans the Romans I think Normans is funny I just uh, just, just me I can't help it just Norman it doesn't sound very scary does it like the Vikings that sounds like oh that's something the Romans yeah we've been invaded again who by oh it's the Normans you mean a bunch of people that are all called Norman yeah I think so I mean That would ex that would explain the lack of uh, communication in this country. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Why there's so much mixed communication and ambiguity and you know all that stuff because for a time I don't know how many years. The Normans were in charge. And that must have been so confusing. Especially for people that liked to gossip. Oh, you know what Norman did yesterday? Well, well you know what he did to Norman? What, what Norman did to Norman? Yeah. That was terrible. Well, you should do something about it. Yeah, why don't you tell his dad? Who's his dad? It's Norman. I don't know, his dad's a bit fiery. Why don't you tell his mum? Um, I don't think I met her. Well, what's her name? That's oh, Norman. <laughs> what if they had dogs what do they call them probably Eric and Steve and Peter and Paul they probably had like lots of different names or why don't you just call them Norman that'd be confusing and think about it there's seven people living in this house if you have a dog called Norman who would know who are you calling? What? Yeah, if he said like Norman, walkies, Norman, Norman walkies. I mean, none of the kids would know. Yeah, but you kind of talk a little bit differently. 
No, it's the same as to speak to the same to the dogs as we do to anyone else. Maybe that's where you're going wrong. Perhaps what we need to do from now on is speak to dogs in a very like babyish voice. And like kind of a bit patronising way. Like, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy then? Who's a good boy? Are you a good boy? You a good boy? Like that. Well, that is quite patronising, isn't it? It is, but if we speak differently to the dogs that way, we'll know we're not talking to each other. Because let's face it, it's getting a little bit complicated, isn't it? You know, it's okay when uh, it was just a couple, it was just the family. But, you know, since the brothers and sisters are all sleeping with each other and producing more babies and, um, of course, some of them are really good swimmers with those uh, webbed toes. But it's, perhaps we should start using different names. Because apparently, yeah, apparently what? Well, apparently in China, um, they had the same issue. What do you mean? Well, they all had the same surname. Didn't have the same first name, but they had the same surname. What was it? It was Wing. It was Wing. Wing? Yeah, that was that was the surname. Just like we're called Norman. They um our first names were Norman. They had surnames that was Wing. And it kinda didn't matter because they all had different first names. What kind of first names? It's not important, we don't need to go into that, but they're, you know, they've got their own different first names. Uh, Boris, Alexander, you know, um, Jeremiah, um, Beyonce, Jamal, You know, just just normal, just general names, but they all had the surname Wing. I said okay, and so what? What? What did they do then? You said that they solved, they solved the problem. How? Well, they decided to introduce more than one surname. Uh, not double barreled because even in a silly pointless random chat about nothing like this double barreled names shouldn't exist so okay that's a bit harsh isn't it no it's just fact what have you got against double barreled names Even Andre doesn't like it, so he just sneezed in contempt. Wow, that's a bit harsh. I said, yeah, I know. He's uh, very judgmental, Andre is. So can you tell me a bit more about, you know, Wing, Mr. and Mrs. Wing, what happened there? They said, well, what they did is they decided the whole country got together, had a referendum, and... Uh, they decided to basically, well, they were going to rent out a big arena for everybody to get in. And they thought, why can we do this? It's too many of us. I said, how, how, what do you mean it's too many? Well, just in the time it took to, sell, to tell you that there's too many of us 
another 4,000 have been born. It's like, wow, that's that's pretty impressive. It's like, it's not just, this is just so many. It's, it's numbers, isn't it? It's, uh, and we couldn't figure out what to do to fit everybody into one space so that we could all kind of talk it out and come up with a solution so what we decided what they decided rather I wasn't actually there at the time um, I was busy uh, knitting some socks and uh, for my goldfish and I just what they did is they decided to use the TARDIS from Doctor Who you know what something happened which I didn't realise you know the TARDIS as it's obviously small on the outside well, it's not small but it's like a si the size of it's supposed to be the size of a telephone box uh, like a roadside emergency telephone box from the the 60s and 70s but inside it's infinite you know it's, it can basically it's can fill infinite space there still wasn't enough room for everyone from China it, well it turned out there's more people living in China than can fit in the universe well how is that possible that's the thing, no one knows how it's possible. But apparently you could get a thousand Earths and there still wouldn't be enough room for all the people in China to live. That doesn't even make sense. What can I say? Some things don't. That's a good excuse. Anyway. They decided they'd just do it, you know, uh, do like an online referendum instead. Where people just uh, said, you know, gave a yes or no to the idea that they had. Okay, well, what's the idea? What, this is taking ages. What was the idea that they had? What was the solution that they had for just having one name? We used to have two names. What, Double Barrel? No, I think we already established that Double Barrel names are wrong. Yeah, okay, you've really got to be in your bonnet about that, haven't you? Yes, I may have. I don't have a bonnet. I have lots of bees, but no bonnet. Not a car, not a car. I'm a kangaroo. I'm not that either. I don't know why I said that. So, okay, so they're going to introduce a new surname as well as Wing. Okay. I can't believe it's taking this long just to get to the, the end of this conversation. What was the new surname so you got wing what was the what was the new surname oh they came up with wong okay so that's good then isn't it they came up with and then what happened well it was so successful that they uh, they I think they introduced a few more. What other one? <laughs> what other ones? He said, trying to think of another popular surname. 
Oh, I think the third one they came up with was Wang. Oh, okay. So it's there seems to be a. Is there any surnames that don't start with W? Oh, they yeah they stay. They like to kind of. They like the later alphabet. You know, rather than the early alphabet, that it's the later ones, because they're more sophisticated, and they realise that other countries aren't really taking advantage of the last few letters of the alphabet to start, you know, a surname. So Zing uh, was one. Xiang was another one. Oh. Tring. That was a good one. Tring. Are you sure you're not just making this up now? Mm, possibly. Possibly. Sounds like it could be. Tring. S Hey, what other letters is there? S T U V Vera, no V S O S T U V W X Y Z Y Yang. Yang is quite good, and then they kind of ying. So it's very much the later alphabet. It's very popular. I say it's due to the sophistication, and also because most of the other letters of the alphabet have been used up. Really? Yeah. I mean, really, you know, S, like in England, Smith. Now it's used up a lot of Smiths. Hundreds and thousands of Smiths. But then Sing, that was used as well. Uh, so, Smith and Sing, very popular names. Jones that's a very popular name probably millions of people called Jones and Patel it's also a very popular name millions maybe billions of people what other ones Adams that's quite a popular surname B, what would be a good surname? Brown. Very popular surname, Brown. C. 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 Chowdhury. So Chowdhury is a very popular name. It's millions of Chowdhury's, I imagine. Millions of Smiths. Millions of Browns. Millions of... Sings. Millions of... Roberts. As a surname, Roberts. What other ones would there be? A, B, C, D. What would be a surname, popular surname starting with D? Dickens. But saying that, I've only ever heard of one poor person with that surname. Yeah, I'm 
So maybe Dreyfus? No, that's not. It wouldn't be that popular, I don't think. D. Did. Dam. Dom. Drum. Drummond. Mr. Drummond out of. Uh, what are you talking about, Willis? That TV show? E. What's a popular surname for E? or Ellis I imagine it would be quite a popular surname for E F Frank or Frankel or Frank Franklin for Nick Fornicate, not fornicator, for fay, 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 fi, fi, fo, fumbelina, no, be feeble, not feeble. No, I can't think of any others. G. Um, good. I think good is quite a popular name. Good. Um, George. Some people have a first name for a surname, don't they? Because George isn't really a, a proper surname. But it's a first name. But some people are called George for the surname. Um, grape seed. No, that's probably not a ginger. Well, that should be with a J, not a G, really. Regardless of how it's supposed to be spelt, if it's pronounced J, it should be spelled with a J. It's pronouncing it with a, you know, with a spelling of a G, it's ginger. Very silly. Why? What other G's is there? Gonna root, no, not gonna rear. Um, gone, gum, gum. Gummy, grumble, gamble, gobble. I don't know, there's lots of different. No, I've never heard any, never met anyone. What's your surname? Imagine meeting someone. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, you know, on a first date. By the way, what is your surname? Oh, it's Gobble. All right. So do you want to get the bill then? Should we head off? <laughs> should we go? Should we go home now? Gobble and I like the word gobble. I've always been quite a slow ear, so I don't really gobble. I've really been a gobbler. I like to eat. I suppose apart from those times when I've eaten quickly. That's usually when I've been hungry, you know, but I do try and eat slowly because I try to do everything slowly, really, apart from when I'm in a hurry, which I don't like. I don't like to be in a hurry. It's not really, it's not really my thing, hurrying around. You know, I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. No. H 
H. Harrison. Holmes. Hitler. Yeah, I suppose it's not that popular, is it, these days? There are still people out with the surname Hitler. I mean, if you if you work in a call centre, you'll hear a lot of surnames that you wouldn't think actually existed. Uh, there's one name called Death. Seriously, D apostrophe E A T H. And I think someone actually got sacked from a call centre because they had a customer. Um, but I can't remember the first name, but the surname was Death, and they was like filling in the form. What's your surname? Oh, it's Death. D apostrophe E A T H. And he's, and I think that the person working caller said, "Oh, that's unfortunate." Ever considered getting it changed? And he was sacked. What other ones, what other names are there that are weird, that are just... Shat. I'm sure there's someone in this zone. Shatner. Remember old uh, Captain Kirk? Shatner. I've never known anyone called Shatner. Apart from him. Willie Shatner. There was someone called the uh, surname Titmiss. As in Tit Miss. T I T M I S S. Titmiss. Brilliant name. I should have changed my name. Hello, thank you for listening to this recording. My name is Jason Titmiss. Oh, brilliant. I'm going to do that. I want to change my name to Titmiss. I suppose I could change it to Tip Titmister. H I. What's a good name for I? What's a popular name for I? Eagle. Ingle. Ingle was the name, isn't it? Ingle. Um, irregular. I suppose that's not. No, that wouldn't be what it is. I. I would say H I J. J what would be Jones, of course, very popular. Um, John, again, it's not a proper surname, but because a first name, isn't it, John? But uh, there's quite a few people. Sometimes you have to call Johns, like Vanessa, on the end. So there's that. What other ones? J. No, I can't think of any. J. H. I. J. K. 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 Keeble. Keeble is a certain good surname. For, so it's Keeble. Um, what other surnames? With a K. Khan, as we said. And Crimble, although I don't think that's actually a real name. Knowles, K N O W L E S, Knowles, Knight. Ah, that's a very, very popular night name, isn't it? Knight, like Michael Knight from Knight Rider. Before he became a lifeguard, 
and a superstar singer in Germany L Long see I like that name I think I should have been called Long Jason Long Jason Long that actually rhymes not rhymes but it rolls off my tongue Jason Long Jason Little Jason Long yeah I don't like my surname because it's you should, I think it's if you're going to give your if you've got a surname that begins with N don't have a first name that ends in N because then it's just one word it sounds like one word unless you leave a gap so if it's Jason Long you don't need a gap but you can tell that it's two different words Jason Newland it's just one word it's because there's no gap between the N so the, a better name would be you know, like Bob Newland or Tony Newland Steve Newland Andre Newland of course that name's, that name's taken by a little a little ferret friend so yes yeah, that's something that people don't give it yeah another one of my other brothers his name ended in N as well his first name so it's I don't think people give a lot of uh, thought about these things I do so I don't have kids but if I did I'd give them a to be fair though that's, that's not totally true I didn't finish the sentence but what I was going to say I wouldn't wouldn't have a name that ended in N like for the first name but one of my favourite names to give a son if I had one would be Milton and that does end in N Milton Newland Milton Newland but you'd probably say Milton Newland not realising that that's not how it's spelled there's no U it's an A you know you don't get shown around a house and you know you don't say by the way how much Lund comes with the house what do you mean how much Lund comes with the house how much Lund or acreage you know, that's part of the reason I'm buying it. I have horses. How much land will the horses have to to ride around on and play? I don't know. What, what do you mean by land? I mean, I want to, you know, perhaps build other houses. And if there's enough land, I can uh, perhaps build enough houses to... Uh, you know earn a living to, out of it to rent them out uh, maybe even if there's enough land I can have a, like a little caravan park oh, I'm sorry sir I don't know what you mean I don't know what land is oh do you mean land oh ok that's in new land yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, you like Jason Newland? Yeah, I've heard of him. He's great, isn't he? Yeah, I can't believe he spent so many years helping people. You know, he's 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 a he's a hero. He is he is amazing. He is he's top notch. That's what he is. He's top notch. He don't know I've come up with a lot of rubbish though, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, he does, doesn't he? 
talks about absolutely nothing for an hour and expects praise for it, you know? I mean, I imagine he'd just be doing that anyway. Can you imagine his son, Andre? No wonder he keeps hiding. Imagine he keeps talking to you and you can't, because you're a ferret, you can't talk, so you can't tell him to shut up. Oi, that's my boy you're talking to. What are you talking about? I'm glad you changed that because I was talking to you. I know. What what letter do we get out to? H I J K L I don't know. So the Normans I suppose they must have started changing their names as well. I think that's what happened. They started. Uh, they thought, well, actually, you're a baker, so I'm going to call you Norman Baker. Oh, okay. That yeah, makes sense. You are. Blacksmith, so I'll call you Norman Blacksmith. Ah, yeah. And you clean out the toilets, the public toilets. You clean the public toilets, so I'm going to call you Norman Shatner. Ah, it's a bit rude. I know. So what about the, all the others? What about the librarian? I suppose I could call that Norma Norman. I just had an idea. Why don't we call the men Norman and the women Norma? Just to differentiate. Yeah, but can't you differentiate already? I mean, you know, there's certain differences between the men and the women. Yeah, technically, but because of all the inbreeding, it's hard to tell. Oh, that's true. So... Norma and Norman. Norma for the women, Norman for the men. And then surname by what you do. So if you're... If you, uh, what other words? The blacksmith. If you're... Uh, what is it? Baker, bakery. Baker, so... Do you need any help to think of some more? Yeah, I do actually. I can't think of anything. I really can't. Um, what other ones? What other jobs are there? Well, you've got factory worker. You've got printer. You've got uh, steel worker. So you could call the person steel. Have them, you know, surname Steel. Yeah, but what about thieves? Wouldn't that be a better word for them? So if people are thieves, call them uh, Norman Steel. Yeah, but I don't think it's fair to. I mean, that's like a lifelong, you know, name, isn't it? based on you know a mistake yeah but stealing's not a mistake is it you know someone know a mistake is something you do by accident 
You don't accidentally steal something. You don't walk out of a supermarket and, oh my goodness, how did all these 17 boxes of perfume get into my, into my pockets and bags? I do keep having these accidents. I'm so accident prone. So, you're being silly now, aren't you? Yeah, of course I am. It's late. It's about nearly half past four. It is exactly half past four. So I suppose we should go in. Yeah, and I was hoping to get all the way through the alphabet, but... M. Ming. That's a good surname. Ming. Like star. Um, Flash Gordon. Ming the Merciless. N. that long to think of your own name surprisingly it actually did genuinely I couldn't think of a name that ended the start of N it really is time to to go to sleep yeah I agree okay then Night-night. Bye.